place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it up What up, what up, my beautiful people, what's going on today? It's your boy Levi, we're doing our ride along. It is Sunday, and just out here grinding, man. It's freaking hot, uh, trying to get this incentive. But, uh, just gotta do what you gotta do. So, today, first of all, let's go ahead and get that out the way. Our AR rate took a hit. I think it's at 38% today. It's on the screen. What was that, 46? I don't know. I thought we took a good amount of orders, but I guess we declined a good amount of orders, too. Like, I think now I hate it because there's plenty of times I've gotten shopping orders on my way to the store, but they definitely been bombing me with some in-store pickups on the way back to the store when I drop off, so... I think I'm just gonna start turning it off till I get here. Uh, you know, I don't know. It is what it is. Um, so yeah, like I said, and then it's just again. I mean, I'm just telling y'all literally, like every single day. My friend's mom, like twice today, we've been sitting right beside each other. They sent her a shopping order. She takes off. Now today, the first one, I got one five minutes after her, but the second one, I didn't get one period. So I'm just saying, man, they sent her freaking so many freaking shopping orders because their freaking AR rate's so freaking high, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, I slept in a little bit. I didn't go to bed until like midnight. <sighs> We're pretty much ahead of schedule, so I was like, hell no, nah, you better get up at 6.30. I'm good. So I think I got up at like 8.30 and got out here at like 9.30 or something. I'm not really for sure. Um, I think I got here for the 10 o'clock like hour, so... Um, we're on our third order. Uh, had a pretty good shopping order. And a curbside. And then this third shopping, this third order, second shopping order. I don't know how easy I got it. I just seen it on the first cover. First come, first serve. And uh, I just jacked it immediately. Didn't ask no questions, obviously. And uh, hey, I don't know how I got on there, but uh, <laughs> I guess it's our lucky moment of the day. So um, yeah, we're just going to grind. I have no idea how long we're working today. It's 12.44 p.m. So, uh, yeah, just going to grind it, hopefully, at 3 or 4 or 5 o'clock. Uh, let's get this out of the way real quick, just because it's hilarious. I can't even believe he did it. Shout out to Nova Dasher, or Nova Hustles now, but he always be Nova Dasher, I guess, to me. <laughs> Anyways, he literally was basically trying to brag and talk crap about his team winning in the preseason. I'm just saying... You know, when you got a sorry ass team, that's what you got to do. You got to take your wins when you can get them because they don't come very easy in the regular season. Obviously, <laughs> 5 1 and 1, cough, cough. You know what I mean? Uh, so let's just get that out there. But I just thought that was hilarious. This dude literally mentions me, really messes me talking trash about preseason. I'm like, bro, <laughs> stop it. Like, please just stop. Technically, he's kind of just joking, but technically, I know deep down in his heart, he's so happy that they won in the preseason when we lost. Like, he can't even fucking stand it, bro. But, uh, anyways, <laughs> I'm going to drop this shopping order off, and uh, I'll get back to y'all. What up, what up, you guys? Checking in with y'all real quick. We're doing this shopping order, and uh, I'll stick a clip in there. The road I was on literally had trees across the road, so. Forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Four, two, three. So I'm on this delivery, right? trying to and you see this the trees are covering this road huh i'm not really sure what i'm supposed to do uh, i'll get back with y'all in a little bit when i know Four. she's calling me i think i can get in there though so i'm only gonna answer this at this exact second uh it's a shit show basically there's literally trees stuck across the road so i called and then she basically said if i went this way then like circle the way around the other way then i should be able to get to her house i was like okay i mean i'll try it but uh yeah i'll stick that clip in there like i said it's freaking nuts i don't know she said they go down a lot them trees so i'm hoping this way gets me to her house but um there's an older lady so i'm trying to help her out i can tell she's just older by her uh it sounds weird but her name was judith which is i don't know i feel like it's a name people ain't having no more like kind of like my mom all her name's uh doris I just feel like people ain't having names like that anymore. But, uh, and she just sounded a little older, so. I'm just trying to help her out. You can see what kind of stuff I'm driving through, like. So there was just trees all over down across the other road that we were on. But hopefully I can make it to her house. It says I'm one minute away, but 
you can look, man. It wouldn't take much to knock one of these trees down. Um, so, anyway, the earnings on the screen, I think we're at like 106 bucks. It's definitely slowed us down. I'm really just trying to get some, like, two more curve sizes in a day, most likely. Oh, um, kind of tired of shopping, but yeah, y'all see what kind of stuff I'm driving through. So, anyways, I'm gonna try to drop this off. It says we're 900 feet away. If I get it delivered, I'll let y'all know. When I get a couple more orders, I'll get back to y'all. What up, you guys? Just uh, updating y'all with that. All this stuff has been going on. Like I said, finally, I found the house. But she was calling me again. She said she's gonna meet me. So, you know, so I said I like helping older people out. She seemed nice, so um, it was worth it, I guess. But that's what's crazy, too. Like, first of all, like, we got a spark offer all the way at her house, and that was an eight mile order. So that was nuts. And I don't know. I should have just turned. I want to do a curve, so I don't want to go shopping, honestly, but I definitely don't really want a $15 curve, so that we just got, but <sighs> just trying to get my AR up. It definitely will go up tomorrow. We haven't declined very much today, and um, yeah, it's just crazy that they sent it eight miles away, but probably should have just turned it off and got a shopping order when I get there, but good thing about it, you know, you check in at 344, I'll be there at 340, so at least I don't have to sit there very long, I guess, but uh 15 bucks uh, for a curve side but anyways yeah that was freaking nuts man tennessee freaking never know trees freaking down power lines down raccoons in the road freaking deer <laughs> all kinds of crazy obstacles that we have to deal with out here and some of these people don't want to tip us it's like what are you thinking but anyways i'm gonna run this 15 dollar order and uh i don't know how much longer we're working i'll let y'all know when i know i meant to tell y'all real quick there's a huge problem with this iphone by the way that i don't have on my android so i don't understand what's the problem i was thinking about calling support but i really don't know what they could do i was gonna say y'all ever ran into this issue if y'all have let me know i'll probably research it later but maybe when y'all can just comment what i need to do i don't even know what i could do technically but um you know, for some reason, it will not let me dial any customer's numbers from my iPhone app. When I call, it says, welcome to Verizon Wireless, however this thing was placed. You can't dial it. But I have absolutely no problem for my Android. I literally just called her from my Android. Like, I had to turn it on, log into the app to call her. So, have y'all ever had that problem? Let me know in the comment section. Like I said, I'm probably going to research it. Uh, I'll probably wait for y'all to comment some of the comments, but I guess if I don't hear nothing by like 24 hours after this video comes out, and then I guess I'm going to have to uh, research it, because yeah, I mean, it sucks. I try to call the customer, you can't call the customer, so I don't get it. What up, you guys? Checking in with y'all. Uh, ending the video here. It's 5.20. Calling it a day. I think last time I talked to y'all, we had a $15 curbside, but of course, when I got there, the thing was getting ready, and I was like... <laughs> You gotta be kidding me. So I un unassigned it. And then they sent me a $28 shopping order to the other store. I really, really, really had to think hard on that. But I declined it. And then they sent me a $15 shopping order. So I was like, you know what? I'm trying to get my AR rate up. It's freaking getting stupid declines. I guess let's take it. And then they sent me a 1970, I think, curbside. And I was sitting at the store for like 10 minutes and I realized it's the other freaking store. And I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, well, I don't wait at this. Like, if I was on it now, I had to wait till the shopping order. Like, I didn't want to shop. So I just drove to the other store. So everything went fine. Hopefully, I get my tip. It was a little strange, the whole interaction with the person. But you can never tell about this job. Which some idiot did reduce my tip yesterday. Uh, seven bucks is a $17 tip, and it went to freaking 11 So it's wonderful. <laughs> But anyways, <clears throat> I think I look, we're at 16 out of 21, so I will try to make sure I get a picture of the incentive. But uh, I guess that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I appreciate y'all so much and spending time on the channel. And uh, until later, stay kind, stay beautiful. Peace!